Power Music has a number of features which would be a benefit to those who are partially sighted or vision impaired. Let's have a look at some of these features now. First of all, let's look at changing the background colour on your music. A number of people find it difficult to read music with a white background and prefer a tinted background. I'll show you how to set that now in Power Music. Go to Tools, go to Settings, and in Settings we can choose a background colour by clicking on here. So let's choose a pale blue. Now we can either apply the background colour to just the chord sheets or we can apply it to sheet music as well. I'll apply it to the sheet music as well. Save that option. And as soon as you do that, the background colour of the music changes to the colour you've selected. If we go full screen, we get the background colour here. Also in chord sheets, we have the background colour set to whatever we set it to in the settings. It might also be an idea to make this bold to make it easier to read. Again, we do that through Tools, Settings, and we can choose Bold for the font in the chord sheet. While I'm working with chord sheets, let's show you how we can split this chord sheet up into several pages by putting in page breaks to get it larger on screen. So we'll go to Edit Song, and all I do is position my cursor where I want the page break to be, and click on Page Break. So I'll put a page break there, and I'll also put a page break there. There already is a page break there, so I'll scroll down. Put another page break in there. And finally a page break in here. If I preview this now, you'll see that it's slightly larger, but we've still got two columns per screen. I come out of there, and I go back down to a single column per screen. You can see then that the text is much larger. However, there is a setting which allows us to change the maximum size that a font can go up to, so let's change that as well. So I go in here, I go to Tools, I go to Settings, I go to the Page Turning tab, the maximum font size for auto fit, let's take that up to 72. And now if we preview it, you can see that we can get really quite big text on the screen. Clicking at the right hand side of the screen or using the arrow keys or using the keyboard moves us to the next page of the song. We can of course change the colour of the text and we can change the colour of the chord line if that would help it to be more readable. Let's go back now and have a look at sheet music and what we can do in sheet music to make it more readable. I'll just come out of this and cancel. Let's go back to our Alaturka. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to split this into several smaller parts of music. I'm going to take the first two staves, the second two staves, the third stave, and then the same on here to split it into smaller pieces. To do that, we go to our edit song. So edit song. Now since I'm going to split this page into three separate sections, I want to duplicate this page twice. So I go to page one, I click on duplicate and go one, two, and duplicate it twice more. I'll now move this page up so it's after page one, and this page up so it's after page two. So what I've now got is three copies of the first page. So I'm going to go to the first copy of the page, I'm going to go to Modify, and I'm going to select only the top part here. If I crop to that, if I save that change, that's that page set up. Then the page 2, I'm going to modify that as well, and I'll just select the second two staves here. Move this up a wee bit to catch the lines, crop that, save it, and then I'll do the same thing with the third page. So let's preview this. Now it's still set for two pages side by side, so let's go back and change that down to a single page per screen, and preview it. Notice that the music is not filling the screen. That's because there's another setting we can make which allows the music to be expanded up to fill the whole screen. 
So let's see that. Go back here, we go back to Tools, we go to Settings, and we go to Display. And we will click on this here that says Always Fit the Viewer. Now the reason that's not the default setting is that there may be a slight decrease in quality when you expand the music up to fit the whole screen. However, I'll talk about how you can increase the resolution of your images when you're creating them from PDF or scanner to get around that problem. So let's just select that in the meantime, click save, go back to our preview. Now you'll notice that it completely fills the screen. And if I go through this page at a time, you can see how large we can make the piece of music. OK, I'll just save this change and I could go on and do the same thing for the other pages, splitting them up. The final thing I want to show you is how you can invert the colours on the screen. Now this is a feature of Windows 7, it's not a feature of Power Music, uh, so it's a part of the operating system accessibility options that are built in, but I'll show you how that works. So first of all, I need to get rid of my background colour from here, so I go up to Tools, I go to Settings, I go to the Colours, and I take it off there, and I put it back to white background. I'm now back to the normal background. The way you can activate the inverse colours is by activating the magnifier in Windows 7. Now I'll just do that now. The key to do that is Windows Plus, followed by Windows Minus. And to invert it, you do Control-Alt-I. And that inverts the screen. Now, these details have nothing to do with Power Music. This is a feature of Windows 7. The good thing about this is now, if I invert the screen and then go full screen, you're getting a very large size of music on a black background. And we can go through that and you can see it there. Again, the better the resolution of the original document, the better the quality you get when you do this. I'll switch it back, Control alt i to bring it back to normal. And that's us back to normal colours. I'll escape from there. I mentioned increasing the resolution of the original documents you're going to use. So let's have a look now at that. I'm just going to switch off the magnifier completely. So let's see how we can add a piece of music at a higher resolution. So we'll go to a new song. We'll go to sheet music. We'll import from PDF. And I'll just browse to where I've got some music in PDF format. Here we have here. Ah, uh, let's just pick this one. If I want to improve the resolution, I go to Settings and Preview. Now, it's currently set to 150 dots per inch. If I wanted to expand this up to fill the screen, I would best go into 200 or 300 dots per inch for the capture. So I'll go up to 300, go back to here, choose page 1, and I'm just going to select, again, the first couple of lines of this stave. I'll add that selection in there. And I won't bother doing the rest at the moment. I'll return that to the editor. And if I now make that full screen and preview, you can see there that the quality is better because I'm up at 300 dots per inch. Much sharper than it would have been at 150 dots per inch. So, these are all enhancements which can be used for people who have difficulty reading music. Obviously, the bigger the screen you use, the better it is as well. We would recommend using a 22 or a 24 inch screen for this kind of thing. We can change the background colour. We can change the size of the font and chord sheets. We can split them up so we have larger text on the screen. In sheet music, again, we can change the background. We can select areas of music and expand them to fill the whole screen. We can increase the resolution to make it better quality. And we can use some of the inbuilt features of Windows 7 to invert the music on screen so you have white notes and a black background. If you have any further questions or comments about using Power Music for visually impaired musicians, please feel free to contact our sales office.